<laughs> oh my God. We warned you, didn't we? The collective awakening warned everybody in the asylum of exactly what was gonna happen. But each and every one of you sat back on your asses and called us cowards. Nah, we're not gonna align ourselves with the collective awakening. Where were they when they need, when we needed you? Why should we do that now, you said? Everybody here sat around saying that they weren't gonna take any action. Especially MDK. Especially D1. They sat back and said they weren't gonna help. They didn't want to join us. And now look at you. Now look at MDK. They have nothing. Nothing to show for themselves. They've been taken down a peg or two. They've been taken down from their top spot. That they claim inside their heads that they were running this asylum. And now they are back down on the bottom where they belong. Because the House of Wolves has entered. And they've taken those tag team titles that they so preciously loved. That they hold dear to their hearts. <laughs> the ones that the collective actually handed you. <laughs> and now D1 makes his return after losing his title. He went away, licked his wounds, but now he's back. <laughs> and he's hurt inside. He's crying inside of himself. He's got a broken heart. The tears are running down his face because he no longer has his title. <laughs> He's no longer the world champ of the asylum. <laughs> and he can't handle what Zack Monstar is doing to his belt. <laughs> it's like he's acting that he didn't see this coming. He didn't know what to expect from Zack. See, I've been there before, D1. I've faced that man. I've had a title taken away from me by Zack. I know what it's like. Don't come out here acting like you're the only one. Because you're not. You deserve everything you've got because you wouldn't listen to us. I told you time and time again that he's coming for you. He's going to take that title and he'll do anything he fucking wants with it. And what did you do? You sat back and did nothing. Sure, you took, you talk a good game. You talk tough. You call yourself the sickest cunt. But you've got nothing to show for yourself. You're back down the bottom of the ladder. And now there's others who want to take that title. Others who want to face Zack and take that championship away. And I'm one of them. Whether it be this season or the next. I'm coming for that title. You have to go through me, son. Do you understand? You're going to have to go through Adam fucking Cage. Do you think I give a damn whether what you think of me? Nah. I don't give a fucking shit about you. What I mostly care about is winning that title. And stopping this authority. With my collective awakening brothers. And if you guys want to consider... Con if you guys want to keep on sitting here on your asses doing nothing, well then so be it. You will fall even harder than you already have. And the collective awakening will sit back and just laugh and laugh and laugh. Laugh our fucking asses off at you pathetic little fucking girls. You guys ain't fucking shit. Fuck off with that sickest cunt crap. That's bullshit. Don't fucking ball my fist up and smash it so fucking hard through your face. Do you understand, you stupid bastard? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh. And one more thing. Your so-called brother? The petty one? <laughs> petty one, please. I see him talking to Raw. Asking Raw to side with him so we can take down the authority. So he's starting to have brains. Not like you. You sit back in the dark. Sit back in your fucking shadows and do nothing. So yeah, Petty One's woken up. He's got some brains. Maybe Roy will take him up on his offer. Maybe not. You stupid bastards. <laughs>